greetings from the Kenyan teacher. Welcome to yet another video. Today we want to review a very recent exam paper that was done in March. This is 2021 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2. We want to look at question number two in this video. This question was borrowed from flask and contact processes. Welcome and be with us till the end. The flowchart in figure two shows the processes involved in the manufacture of sulfuric six acid. So as usual, we are supposed to study the chart before we attempt to answer the questions. So here we are. Sulfur is getting into chamber one with air. And of course, what we leave is sulfur four oxide, which goes to chamber two. The scheme doesn't tell us what happens here, but from our understanding of the contact process, we are sure that in chamber two, we are doing drying of our SO2, and again, we are also purifying it. Why we are doing this is because we want to protect our catalyst in chamber three. So probably that is what happens in chamber two, though we are not told. So when dry and purified SO2 leaves chamber two, it goes to chamber three where we introduce our catalyst. And then we supply oxygen also. So here, sulfur foxide is catalytically oxidized to give sulfur six oxide, which then moves to chamber four. And as we had said earlier also, we normally dissolve these in concentrated sulfuric acid to give us oleum. So obviously substan substance M that goes in is concentrated sulfuric six acid. So oleum now moves. So here we have oleum which moves to chamber five, where we dilute it using substance N. So this is obviously water, and finally we obtain our concentrated sulfuric acid at the far end of the scheme. So with that understanding, we can now go ahead and attempt our questions. The first question was asking, explain how the sulfur used in this process is obtained and this is now where frask process comes in so the student was expected to do this to get the two marks you are supposed to write that sulfur is mined using frask process So this frask process would give you the first half a mark or a student would give an option instead of frask process, you would talk about three concentric pipes. This one means three pipes laid one inside the other. So if you didn't have the correct term for the process, you would also talk about the three concentric pipes. That gives you the first half mark out of two. Now, how do you get the other one and a half marks? You don't stop here, you continue that superheated, superheated water is pumped through the outer pipe. So you have to tell us what gets in through 
Which pipe? Remember, there are three. So superheated water is pumped through the outer pipe to melt, to melt the sulfur deposits. So outer pipe here, we would give you the next half a mark. We proceed that hot compressed air, hot compressed air, is forced through the inner pipe through the inner pipe and what does it do to push the molten sulfur to push the molten sulfur through the middle pipe through the middle pipe to the surface. So, in a pipe, the next half mark, and of course, it has to bring in the correct substance. Don't interchange. And finally, middle pipe, the last half mark. And again, it has to bring to the surface the correct substance, which is molten sulfur. That is what a student was supposed to have written in part A of question 2 to be able to get the two marks. Moving on, we have seen that chamber 1, we are bringing in air. So, the question was asking, give one advantage of using air in chamber one instead of using oxygen gas? The answer is as simple as air is a cheaper source of oxygen. Air is a cheaper source of oxygen for one mark. You would also have an alternative to this which would read that it is economical. It is economical to use air as opposed to oxygen. That would be good enough as well for that one mark. Okay, let us proceed to the other questions. The other questions asked us to identify substance M and N. And if we studied our scheme very well like we did, this is now getting so easy to answer the question. If you look at our scheme, we had identified substance M and N. So you just go ahead and write the answers in the spaces given here. So we have M being concentrated sulfuric acid Concentrated sulfuric 6 acid or a student had the option of writing it in symbols. So H2SO4, if you didn't put the word concentrated, you would still get the answer. But if you had to be more accurate, you would give us the state as liquid here. That would still give you the one mark. For N, we've agreed it is water, but again, when you are told to identify, we again accept the correct formula for water. Good. D Roman 1, in chamber 2, drying and purification takes, take place. Give a reason why this is necessary. I had told you when we were studying the scheme that we do this so as to protect our catalyst from poisoning. So, simply tell us here that impurities poison the catalyst. So that is why we are drying and purifying. The word here for one mark is poison. 
you had an option of telling the examiner that the impurities also make the catalyst inefficient for the same one mark. Moving on, the reaction in chamber 3 is highly exothermic, which means it produces so much heat. So why is high temperature required for the reaction in chamber 3? We want to maximize on production of SO3. So the answer here is high temperature increases the rate of the reaction. Okay? Increases half a mark. And you don't stop here. You continue to tell us how. So you tell us that the particles, of course the reacting particles, gain kinetic energy. They gain kinetic energy that result to frequent, frequent effective collision. So this one would be the next half a mark. So as you talk about temperature as a factor that influences rate of a reaction, please don't stop at just the effect. Continue to explain how that takes place. So for a reaction to take place, we have said that particles must collide with sufficient energy to form a product. Some particles just collide and rebound because of insufficient energy. So that is why we have to give a reason as to why increase in temperature increases rate of that reaction. Moving on, state how the heat produced in chamber 3 can be utilized. Now, the heat produced can be used to preheat, to preheat the incoming gases, which is sulfur 4 oxide and oxygen. Okay? That is one of the uses that it can be put to for one mark. But we may also recycle it. The heat can be recycled as well. So those were the two options for answering part two of question D, Roman two. Now, this question was very unlikely. We have been explaining the source of these names for the processes in chemistry. Solvay, for example, why is it called Solvay? Have we ever asked your teacher to explain to you? Now look at what the students were asked. Very unlikely question. So when your teacher comes to class next time to teach you about contact process, can you raise up your hand and ask, sir, why is it called contact? When he comes to teach you about harbor process, why is it called harbor? The same should apply to Solvay. The same to Ostwald and so on. Remember, we have so many, so many processes in chemistry to be learned between Form 1 and Form 4. So, give a reason why this method of manufacture is known as contact process for one mark. Now, the expected response is the formation, the formation of sulfur 6 oxide in chamber three, in chamber three, occurs when the two reactants, sulfur four oxide and oxygen, do what? They come into direct contact. They come into direct contact with each other, with each other. But where? On the surface of the catalyst on the surface of the catalyst so if your answer didn't have the surface of the catalyst it was as good as getting a zero so the process is called contact because we are reacting sulfur oxide and oxygen 
directly but where on the surface of the catalyst in the catalytic chamber an option to this would be that our two reactants and the catalyst are in contact or a student would also write that uh, the catalyst provide surface area over which the two reactants uh, react so you now know why the production of sulfuric six acid industrially is called contact process good enough moving on emission of gases in sulfuric six acid plant may lead to environmental pollution state the evidence that could be used to show that the sulfuric six acid plant causes pollution this was a very straightforward common sense question so we look around the plant to see these things one would be metallic structures near the plant are corroded that is evidence apart from the metallic structures somebody could look at the vegetation vegetation near the plant vegetation near the plant changes from green changes from green to yellow you can also tell us that the vegetation also dries up the vegetation may also wilt the vegetation may also die okay so all these could act as evidence of pollution somebody can also talk about respiratory diseases of affecting the people who live or who reside near the plant respiratory uh, diseases we can also look at soil we can sample soils from the area and we will find that the soils have lower ph because of the acid the soils may also be acidic so all those could act as evidences for the answer to that question looking at the other question actually the last one we were asked to explain how the pollution that we have just identified in 2f from 1 can be controlled and the answer here is just one word scrubbing for one mark what is scrubbing scrubbing means passing the gaseous passing the gaseous emissions through alkaline or basic substances so anything that is alkaline or basic in nature would score here an example is calcium hydroxide but you could have so many other options you can use calcium oxide for example anything that is basic or alkaline in nature or just the word scrubbing would do it we were accepting the one with an a and uh, even this one would work as well with a u any of those would uh, give the mark depending on where or how you are taught remember in chemistry we rarely we rarely penalize uh, the spelling because we know there's a lot of mother tongue influence uh, that affects the way we write that marks the end of our presentation thank you for being with us and all the best